How's it going guys? Today's project is this Craftsman uh, push mower. As you can see, I have it in, uh, you know, partially taken apart um, because it wouldn't start. And uh, among other things, it has a, a broken um, cable, uh, seized cable, which uh, I've been coming across a lot of that this year. So I just have a tie wrap uh, tied up there. But um, the, uh, so I, I've cleaned the carburetor out already and uh, it runs, but it seems to run uh, too fast. So uh, we're gonna take a look at that problem, see how we can rectify it. Alright guys, so um, adjusting the RPM on these things is pretty simple, actually. Um, the uh, Most lawnmowers have some sort of a spring that provides tension uh, to the arm, throttle arm, that goes to the governor's system, okay? So the more tension you put on this spring, right here, then the uh, higher the RPM, the less tension, then the lower the RPM. So all you can do is just take a pair of needle nose pliers and actually bend this tab to provide more or less tension on this spring, okay? So uh, this one in particular runs pretty fast. So what I expect I'll have to do is to actually um, bend this tab to reduce the spring tension. So let me show you what it's doing and uh, we'll go ahead and try and fix that. All right, so because I don't have the air filter assembly with the uh, primer on here, I'm just gonna use some quick start in the carburetor, pull it over a couple times and uh, I'll show you what it's doing. All right, because I have no uh, stop cable to be able to let go and actually cause this thing to stop, I just choked it out and uh, then it fired up. So, um, as you could see initially in that first part of the video, I was moving this uh, tab back and forth with these pliers and I was getting no change whatsoever in the RPM. It was around 32 and change, 3200, something like that. And uh, that's a little higher for these older machines than I would like. I like around 3,000. Um, so I wanted to adjust it a little bit lower. And uh, it, this was making no difference. But then I did notice that this little tab right here on the throttle arm actually was bent downwards. And it was only going about that far because this, this edge right here was actually hitting this piece of the carburetor so it would only go like this far and that 
made the RPM a little bit too fast and it wasn't even adjustable um, lower okay so as soon as I bent this tab upwards it was able to clear that which it's supposed to do and actually go further thereby reducing the throttle sorry the RPM of the engine okay so normally you would bend this tab if that doesn't work take a look here and make sure that this is going all the way over okay so hopefully this uh, video was informative guys uh, if you like the content please hit the like button and uh, if you're not already a subscriber please consider subscribing it really helps me out on the channel and until next time guys take care